I'm new to this school in South Alaska. I moved here from New York two months ago and am still having such a hard time adjusting. No one even recognizes that I exist anymore. And I know it's all my fault, you see, I was very popular on my first day here, as I am very pretty, not to brag, I got long blonde hair and bright green eyes with the face of Julia Roberts in the 90s. I was sitting in math class on the first day and a boy tugged on my hair from behind me, playfully I turned around to see his handsome face, deep hazel eyes and chocolate hair. One would say we look perfect together, oh, and he had the most perfect voice too. He told me his name was Jake and I told him mine was Cassandra, Cassandra Davies. He then invited me to come to this big party that was happening Friday night by the lake. I don't know. I said nervously. Come in I'll be so happy to see you. I later agreed when I noticed he had a crush on me. He was always asking me irrelevant questions looking at me brushing my hair and I overheard him talking about me. And it was exiting. Maybe he will be my first kiss, I thought. When I arrived at the lake shore party it was not at all how I expected it to be. There were barely any people, just bunch of football dudes in their varsity jackets. They all looked my way and asked if I was looking for Jake. Yeah, how do you know? I ask. One of them chuckled and said well he's waiting for you, up there. He pointed up at the water tower, about 30 feet high. He wants to kiss you up there, it will be very romantic. I was filled with excitement and started climbing my way up. Around halfway thought I questioned if this was safe, but I persevered. I made it to the top and Jake was there looking beautiful and tall. I was ready to kiss him. I leaned in for a kiss with my eyes closed, ready to kiss him, but next thing you know I was falling. Somehow I slipped off that tower, broke both of my ribs and my left leg. I was not only in horrible pain, but Mbarra said. When I came back from the hospital no one talked to me. They acted as if I wasn't even there. The teacher didn't even call my name for attendance. And now even my own father locks himself away in his room, never speaking with me. All I can hear is him crying and wailing at night. I knock at his door and call his name but he never answers. I know he is ashamed of me. How could I be so stupid to climb that thing? Now a new drama is on the loose at school, there is no way I'm getting people's attention back on me. Especially since it's about some girl who died. Rumor has it that Jake killed her. No wonder he isn't talking to me, he must be so stressed right now. But I just couldn't help myself, I wanted to know what he was up to. So I followed him one night, he was in a gas station buying some cigarettes with a fake ID oh boy, this must be so hard on him. When he got out of the gas station, cop cars pulled up, Jake was shaking of fear. The two cops cuffed him. You are under arrest for the murder of Ken Sandra Davies one said. But I didn't kill her. She fell off I swear. Yet and what about Tony Morris or Blair Mallows? They all fell off the same tower the same year. I was the dead girl. I felt hands on both of my shoulders. I turned to see two girls don't worry. We didn't know we were dead at first too. This isn't fair I screamed with tears running down my eyes. We know, but we will make it fair.